But area first responders are now stationed in areas of eastern North Carolina preparing for the dangerous conditions that the storm will bring. Green City News reporter Caroline Boyer shows us how they are part of the state's emergency plan. When you think of firefighters, you probably think of big red trucks and putting out flames. Charlotte Fire is switching its turnout gear for water gear. The Swift Water Rescue Team is on standby, ready to jump into action following the storm. Bags are packed, trucks are loaded, and Charlotte Fire's Swift Water Rescue Team is ready to respond to the aftermath of Debbie. Our primary mission will be uh, the rescue or um, evacuation of people stranded by flood waters. The 17 member team loaded up equipment early Wednesday morning and hit the road at 8 a.m. headed to Elizabethtown, North Carolina, about an hour outside of Wilmington. This storm can bring dangerous conditions to much of our state. I've activated more than 350 soldiers and airmen from the North Carolina National Guard and deployed swift water rescue teams to be on the ready. At Governor Roy Cooper's request, Mooresville Fire Rescue's 11-person Swift Water team is stationed in Harnett County, and Harrisburg Fire's eight-member crew is in Bladen County. In areas where the storm has already hit, it's obvious why Swift Water Rescue teams are needed. This video shows crews rescuing a driver caught in floodwaters in Manatee County, Florida. We have a SUV that got swept off of golf course into Gamble Creek, and we got three people running down there. It's swift water, man. Local rescue teams have their boats, ATVs, and first aid supplies ready in case the Carolinas see something similar. The job's going to get done, and there's going to be no issues. Closer to home, these departments have crews standing by to respond to any downed trees or power lines, flooding, and other emergencies. In Charlotte, Caroline Boyer, Queen City News.